When people think of their favorite Hitchcock film, a lot of times they list off Psycho, maybe The Birds, Vertigo, Rear Window, all really fantastic, legendary movies. But for me, it's Rebecca. And I made this decision after like the third or fourth time that I had seen this film, and I just love it. I think that it is a masterclass in suspense in a different way than something like Psycho or Rear Window. This is a suspense that is very, very personal. The story of Rebecca follows this woman who is unnamed throughout the entire film, so I'm either going to call her Mrs. De Winter or the protagonist, uh, because she doesn't have a name. But the protagonist meets this wealthy businessman who, at the beginning of the film, is contemplating suicide. But they fall in love and she sort of helps bring him out of the depths of depression. And he fi she finds out through their relationship and eventual marriage that he had an ex-wife named Rebecca. And Rebecca, who has since passed, left a gigantic shadow on not just Mr. DeWinter, but everybody. She was this elegant woman that everybody loved and respected and even feared to some extent. And, I mean, she hears about this woman through friends, the housekeepers, and even Mr. DeWinter himself because Rebecca is just this ominous figure. And the great thing about Rebecca, the character, is you never meet her. You don't know what the hell she looks like. There's a hint that she might be one of the paintings on the wall, but there's no, like, pictures, you don't, there's no flashbacks, and it's just great stuff because it's this character that feels like she is a big part of the movie, but yet she never physically appears. And that's really, really awesome. The thing about the protagonist is she doesn't really have an identity of her own. And usually that would be a bad thing, but that's the whole theme of this film is that she is living under the shadow of Rebecca. That she doesn't feel like she could compete with Rebecca. And she doesn't have an identity for herself. That's why she doesn't have a name. The only time she's referred to by a name is when she says that she is now Mrs. DeWinter, but she doesn't have a first name or anything. Nobody calls her by her first name because she's supposed to feel insignificant. And I think the best dynamic, in my opinion, in the film is the housemaid and Mrs. DeWinter. The housemaid apparently had some sort of a relationship with Rebecca. There's been stipulation for years on what kind of relationship it was. You know, I did some digging online because I was curious to see what other people thought because I thought that it came off a certain way and I was like, maybe it's just me, but I think they had a potentially romantic or at least physical relationship. The housemaid does really strange stuff like smell Rebecca's old clothes or she'll like cuddle with it. It's very strange. I know a lot of people think that there's like a mother-daughter type relationship, but I just, I don't see it. I just, it feels like that there's something more. And it was very, obviously very groundbreaking for the time because this film came out in the early 1940s. And to suggest that Rebecca had a lesbian relationship with the housemaid, it, it uh, is very before its time, and it's done very, very well. It doesn't feel forced any, at all. And I, I love the psychology of that because the housemaid just hates Mrs. DeWinter, hates our protagonist, because she doesn't think that she's good enough, pretty enough. She doesn't think that she's anything enough for Mr. DeWinter or to even step into Rebecca's shadow. The direction is something to behold. I mean, I think that it's obvious that Hitchcock was going to be a great director by this time. I don't know how popular he was, especially in the United States. I think, in fact, Rebecca might have been his first film to be made in the United States, correct me if I'm wrong. But Rebecca is just... It's, I love it. It's one of my favorite movies. It's my favorite Hitchcock film, and I'm excited to watch the remake, although I'm hesitantly optimistic about it. It looks good. I'm excited to check that out. Um, but, I mean, the original is always going to be the best for me. So, Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca. 
Have you seen it? What's your favorite Hitchcock film? Comment below, let me know. I hope you're having a great Christmas season. If you're looking for perhaps a spooky read during the holiday season, I've got some urban fantasy and horror books. Check out the links below. Thanks as always for watching. Bye.